Fixtures. So today we're working on the old Mazda B2600i and we're going after the slave cylinder because you see up there right in this whole area there's a whole bunch of moisture down here it's pretty wet it's because the, mat, the clutch master is going bad so what has happened is I got stuck in traffic because you push on the clutch look at that it just sticks to the floor and you gotta bring it back up and you're able to shift sometimes it would stick right here sometimes uh, like here here but when it got really bad it's all I had before so now I have to uh, take it out and replace it so what I've done is I've already taken my line loose which is a 10 millimeter and then I must go after these I do believe that they are 13s or 12s it's these guys right up here so I'm gonna take those loose and I do believe the push rod is connected to this so the whole unit should come out I'll show you here in a second what I'm talking about so I have taken I have taken the bolts loose and as you can see I got my socket down there they're 12s and I've got a long extension and the wobbly on the end and I'm able to get this loose so now we're going to go and take these bolts or these nuts loose by hand it should be able to get here we go this one has come loose and the other one's come loose and I'll show you in a second so with our lines with our bolts loose on the other side of this the firewall I'm going to take this screw the rest of the way off, and then I'm just going to pull it through the hole, and our rod and everything should stay in place just like it is. You see the rod down there, and then this pulls out, you can see it has been leaking for a little bit, and I've noticed it feeling funny for a while, and then just the other day it just started feeling really weird, and then today nothing. But as you can see, that fluid looks black, and usually when it's black, Usually means that the O-rings or like the rubber inside this or the slave is going bad. But we've already replaced the slave, so more likely this is the reason why it looks funny. So we're gonna grab a new one and put it in there, tighten it up, and show it to do. Okay, so this is the brand new reservoir, and we're gonna stick it in. And we're gonna make sure that the rod is lined up. Just make sure it's in the little hole, because you can see it's round and it should stay right. See, it looks like it's lined up. And I'm gonna push that back in. So what we can do. I'm gonna have to go on the other side and try to push a bracket out of the way. So on this, what you do is that you go ahead and you take this and just kind of wobble it in there. And it's not quite straight, so you have to kind of go down, up, down, up, and eventually it'll work itself in. Then you can tighten it down and we'll see what happens. So that's how you do the clutch master on your B2600i pickup 93. Um, any questions, comment down below. But I left off the bleeding process because I had somebody else help me and I didn't get a chance to videotape it. But So I just, what you do is you pump the brake master, the clutch master, and have somebody at the bottom crack the bleeder, make sure there's fluid in the reservoir, and then you just you crack the bleeder and pump it, crack the bleeder, pump it crack the bleeder and eventually it'll bleed through sometimes you have issues and you can use like a uh go down to your local co-op and get like a syringe and put some vacuum tubing on there and you can actually push brake fluid through and that that can help um but this was a pretty easy bleeding pro procedure where i just had someone crack the bleeder at the bottom and that's the way we went so uh thanks for watching if you have any questions or anything like that comment down below um and it's first time coming across some of my videos um this is what i do i just fix things and videotape it. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.